In this video, we're going to be talking about what sewing machine needles to use and which ones not to use when we're tailoring our own clothes at home. I'm SD, and if you're a guy who's so tired, just so tired, of wearing clothes that just don't fit you very well anymore, on this channel I show you how to tailor everything in your closet. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Now sewing machines, well, they can do a lot of different things, and well because of that, there are a lot of different sewing machine needles. But since we just want our clothes to go from, well, baggy to fitted, we only need to worry about three of them. Let's start with a universal needle. Now that machine uh, that you have at home right now, the machine you have, it probably came with a sewing machine needle in it already, right? Yeah, most likely, and it's probably a universal needle. And a universal needle is just that. It's, it's universal. You can use it for t-shirts, you can use it for dress pants, jeans, chinos, everything. Even sweaters too, which we'll get to in a second. And universal needles, well, they come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes too, which are represented by the numbers that you're gonna see. But just, just don't panic, we're, we're gonna get to that. And once you start looking around and you wanna upgrade your sewing machine needle, what you're going to do is the natural progression of what you're going to find next is it's most likely going to be a denim needle. And a denim needle is, well, it's just that. It's, it's made for tailoring your denim. Denim jeans, denim jacket, denim, well, all the things. And when I say denim, I mean that really thick old school Wrangler or Levi style type of denim. You know, the kind of denim that just doesn't stretch at all in any way, shape or form. It's the kind of denim where like once it gets wet, you are just going to have a horrible time. And I say that because here's the thing, once you get into tailoring denim, you're gonna come across modern day denim, which does not perform or behave at all the way that denim used to behave. And that's not necessarily a bad thing or anything like that. The thing about modern denim is, well, it stretches, so it's got a lot of elasticity in it, and quite frankly, modern day denim, it's not as thick as old school denim used to be, which means that, well, you can get away with uni yeah, using a universal needle on denim jeans. I'm not gonna edit that out. I've already used too many jump cuts as it is. I made a really in-depth tutorial on the ins and outs of tailoring denim and the sizes and the weight and all that jazz. So if you uh, if you need some clarification, you can go check it out down in the description. Hey, SD, my machine didn't come with a needle. What, uh, what do I do? Well, you can just go to Walmart and pick up a pack of them for like $3 right now. And if you do that, you're going to see some uh, you're going to see some numbers that are associated with those needles. And if you just see numbers and you don't see names, which ends up happening, uh, it happens more often than, uh, than you would think. Don't panic, don't worry. The numbers just correspond to the size of the shaft of the needle. One number is going to be European and the other number is going to be American. American sizes or numbers, well, they go from eight to 19. Eight being for thinner materials and 19 being for thicker materials. And for our European comrades, <laughs> that's really stupid, why did I just do that? Uh, <laughs> European numbers. They go from <laughs> they go from 60 to 120, and it's the same thing. 60 being for thinner materials, and 120 being for thicker materials. And what ends up happening is they just combine those two numbers for you, with the European number coming first, and then the American number coming second. So a 60-8 needle is gonna be for thinner materials, and it keeps working its way up in intervals. So you're gonna end up seeing a needle that that is 100-16, so what does that mean? That means that it's made for thicker materials like jeans and winter coats and so on and so forth, you know, along those realms. And well, your universal needle, it's right kind of smack dab in the middle. When you're going to come across the universal needle, what you're going to see is that the universal needle, it's around 80-12. So it can handle a lot of different things. But here's the thing about universal needles that you need to be aware of that you might not have thought of. Well, think about the term universal. It means just everywhere and, and wide and I don't know, I'll have to think of a couple of adjectives. Maybe I'll throw them on the screen, but the point I'm trying to make is that a universal needle, it's kind of a jack of all trades sewing machine needle. And let's finish that phrase. It is a jack of all trades, so therefore it's a master of none. So it can do a lot of different things. It can handle a lot of different materials, but 
it's not necessarily going to handle them very well. And despite the fact that a universal needle, yes, it can tailor a lot of different things, but that's where specialty needles come in to kind of fill in the gaps, like a ballpoint needle or a jersey needle. And that one is going to be perfect for things, anything that stretches, all of your stretchy material. I'm talking sweaters, I'm talking workout gear, I'm talking literally anything that stretches. Now, remember when we were talking about tailoring our sweaters a couple of minutes ago? I made a tutorial showing you how you can tailor your sweaters at home, and do you know what happened in that video? I didn't use a ballpoint needle. And I didn't realize it until I was editing that video and I was like, Oh my gosh, that's right. I never changed my sewing machine needle from a universal needle to a ballpoint needle, despite the fact that that's what I said that you should do. And the reason why that's a big deal is because, yeah, you can use a universal needle on that, but see, here's the thing. A ballpoint needle, it's a little bit duller on the end. It's still sharp, don't get me wrong, but it's just not as sharp. So what does that mean? Well, when it goes through your garment, when it goes through anything that stretches, instead of actually piercing and penetrating those fibers, you know, just over and over and over again, what it does is it, it kind of separates them and pushes them out of the way, which is going to mean that you don't have to worry about anything running, you don't have to worry about skip stitches, you don't have to worry about well, the biggest problem, wavy fabric. If you are sewing your uh, your workout clothes at home and you're getting wavy results, that might be the reason why. And the video in the end card right now that you see is just that. It's how to tailor your sweaters at home. And now you know when you go watch that video that I didn't change my needle to a, uh, to a ballpoint needle. My bad, but you're not going to make that same mistake, are you? I'll see you on the other side. SD out. See ya.